Hi, so today we're talking wedding venues. A lot of you know that I've been engaged for a year now and we've been doing wedding planning. So I wanted to show you a little bit of how our search went for the wedding venue. So we had a lot of criteria for the wedding venues. Number one was a space that could accommodate at least 200 guests. Number two is that we wanted a space that could have an external caterer. So my boyfriend's family own a couple restaurants and their catering is just the best. The food is amazing. So 100% we were sure that we were gonna use them. So we wanted a space that could accept an external caterer and obviously a, a huge kitchen to be able to cook in it. Number three, we wanted a space that could accommodate the ceremony space and the reception space. So we didn't want people or the guests to have to go to two different locations. So we wanted to find a space that could accommodate both. Another thing is that my boyfriend's an engineer. So he wanted a space that showed some type of material. So either showing steel, wood, or brick. Ideally, we would want a space that could have parking as well because I wanted to have our wedding in the city and finding parking spots in Montreal is hell. So when we visited the Montreal Science Center, we were really pleased. Uh, because they have several rooms. We first visited the Belvedere room and that space was so amazing. The view was breathtaking. It's just that the ceremony space would have been on the rooftop. So if it rained, we would have needed a plan B. Um, and also the room for the reception was so big that we were scared that maybe guests would wander off and go outside and we wouldn't have as many people on the dance floor. And also since the space is so big, that means that we would have to furnish it as well. So bigger space means more furniture, means higher cost. The second room that we looked at is actually the space that we chose. So it's called La Passerelle and uh, the room 235. We just fell in love with the space because it showed steel. Uh, there were huge glass windows which made the room so bright and uh, it was also a good size and the kitchen was great for the external caterer as well. Also, as a bonus, we had a cute little terrace where people could just have some air but it wasn't too big that they would wander off and disappear. Next stop, we also visited La Sena which was also in the Old Port which is a few steps away actually from the Montreal Science Center. And that space we really loved as well. It was very industrial, there was wood, steel. We also loved the little lights hanging from the ceiling. Uh, but one of the negative things is that we could only take the alcohol from their venue. So doing that would push up the prices a little bit higher. So that was a little it. So right in front of us would have been a photo booth. Ici, ça a été le bar et l'espace cocktail. Mais c'est pas très privé parce que tout le monde peut venir marcher ici comme vous voyez, nous on est là random. C'était vraiment beau. Et il y en a préféré l'autre un petit peu plus. Another venue that we looked at is Entrepôt de Lumen, which is also located on the island of Montreal, but a little bit further than the old port. We really loved that room. It was a little bit cheaper even than those in the old port. Uh, but it was a bit too industrial feel for me. So those are a couple of venues that we looked into. We really loved actually all of them. It's just we had a slight preference for the Montreal Science Center, the uh, room facing the city. So the venue for us was one of the biggest expense, but also a thing that was more important to us. So I figured if we have a really nice venue, then we don't have to decorate as much. We don't need as much flowers as well. So we kind of splurge a little bit on this part of the wedding. So exciting to plan my wedding. Although it's postponed to next year, that just means we have more time to plan. So I look forward to showing you a bit more of our wedding planning during the year. Bye!